everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me and I hope you're having a good day. Today we are continuing our playthrough of Ultimate General American Revolution. We Last episode we began to move north into Canada or at least setting up our eventual push up into Canada uh, with uh, the capturing of Fort Frederick. We also t tried to launch an assault against Burlington. Uh, which ended in a disaster. It was probably, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, our only loss in the campaign so far, at least when it comes to ground uh, engagements, or land engagements, rather. And so, yeah, we had to retreat back across the Green Mountains to Hubberton, uh, where we are now bunkering down. At least my regular army troops that I have here are bunkering down. We probably will send them back to Fort Rice at some point to reman because they actually have a lot of recruits at Fort Rice. It's really random that Fort Rice of all everything has a ton of recruits that we can pull from. Fort St Stevens also does as well and we are st actually getting some pretty good amount of recruits all around as well. Salem actually has quite a bit of recruits but it's pretty far back to send uh, my troops to Salem to re-up especially seeing as we have so many uh, recruits over in Fort Rice. New York really doesn't have much of anything in terms of recruits. They're just sort of trickling in and those are slowly making their way up here. Uh, but one thing I am probably going to very quickly do, uh, probably going to have one of these movement, uh, sorry, one of these units start moving north. Probably one of these smaller ones. Uh, actually, this one will probably work. We're going to have him come up to Fort Frederick to help this position because what we're actually going to do is we're going to actually disband yes this unit here because it is one of our old militia units that can only take three units uh or three regiments to an entire unit or three companies rather to an entire regiment uh and w while we could upgrade it to a fusilier company uh because these are somewhat experienced units at this point we're not going to do that we're just going to disband and help uh use the recruits from this unit to help fill out the rest of our units here and then we, what we can do is we can actually raise a new unit probably over there at salem uh and that would actually help out quite a bit so we're going to do that and we're also going to do that here as well with this one same same deal it's one of our old militia units uh, we can't add a fourth unit to it, so we might as well just, like I said, we could also always make them fusiliers, but don't really want to do that. We're already having enough financial issues, and it is much more expensive to have fusiliers. Uh, so we are just going to go ahead and delete it, disband it, and that actually gives us the recruits back into the pool. They just sort of make their way back into the the fort. So what we could do is then just, like I said, we'll move him up, whales here over there, and from the recruit pool they should just be able to reman these units as well and that also gives us two new generals which we can like I said come over here and we can go ahead and raise a militia regiment and sort of just rebuild them over here and we can give them we can have them be full strength and just send them back to the west um, we could actually give them six pounders, but we're not going to do that. We'll give them three pounders. And of course, a militia or a Minuteman unit. Uh, maybe I'll raise one. Ah, no, they don't have quite enough. Anybody else have any, or do we just want to raise both? Looks like we probably just want to raise both over there in Salem. Yeah, we'll just raise them both over here in Salem. That's no big deal. There's plenty of recruits over here. And... Actually, Jacob Leffler is actually a pretty good general, or leader, that is. I doubt if he's a general. Doesn't really say, I don't think. Uh, major, so he's a major. And, of course, more Minutemen. So we have those two built out. What we'll also do is where we do have some, we actually have a lot of troops in Portsmouth as well. One thing I keep forgetting I actually have the ability to do now is actually make a cavalry regiment. I don't think I did that in the last episode, but so we will go ahead and start making some cavalry. And we might as well put Mr. Batty in charge. We have plenty of short brown, brown besses. And I know we don't, 
I believe we do have enough horses finally. We don't have enough to, yeah, we have the 81 horses. We only need 80, but we have 81 horses, so we can actually have our first uh, cavalry regiment starting to get formed. Did I not hit accept to that? I guess I did not, which is annoying, but that's okay. All right, we'll create that. Okay, so now we have a regiment of horse coming as well and we might seeing as we're attacking in the west we might even just go ahead and send them west and have them assist with our assaults here uh in the west as we head north towards montreal so hopefully these units will all uh, get filled out we have units over here at fort rice who are actually it's doing this weird thing where it's saying they're not at full strength but if we actually come in here it they clearly are at full strength, so I'm not sure what that's about. It's a little bit of a bug. But these guys, well, these guys aren't. Their cannons are actually not quite at full strength. Daniel Morgan's here. So we do actually have to wait for that to build out. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and advance the day. Since we've gotten all that worked out now. And hopefully what we'll see is... Well, we got this. Rhode Island will definitely take that. And what we see is, what do we have? Not enough money, not enough muskets. Really, not enough muskets. Where do we need Oh, we don't have enough United States muskets. Uh, so let's go ahead. I don't want to give out the hunters just yet. Not until we actually start getting actual skirmisher units. So. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give them some civilians. That's unfortunate that we don't actually have quite enough... United States muskets yet to start filling out some of these units and now we're looking over here probably not enough money yeah so taking that money hit kind of hurt us so what we'll do we don't want to sell all of our civilian muskets seeing as we have a few new regiments being built up but we'll sell a, up to a thousand or down to a thousand let's go ahead and sell some of our short brown besses as well Let's actually leave 160 in there. Uh, what else could we possibly part with at the moment? We have some furs. We have some textiles. We'll sell down to three. Because what another thing we do want to do here shortly is... That actually gives us 6,000. Is we do probably want to... Oh, these guys aren't quite ready yet, so we are st still uh, waiting for some of these troops to uh, come in. New Haven actually doesn't have any recruits at the moment. I mean, that might be why they haven't fully fleshed out all these ships yet in terms of uh, the manpower on the ships. But we are going to be going ahead and sailing out here shortly. We uh, are currently building up a pretty significant fleet. We still have our fifth rate, and we have a, all these six rates at the moment. Uh, but it's still not enough. What we're really gunning for is to be able to to uh, take that third rate that was at least at one point in the here. It looks like yes, it looks like it still is in here. So it would be nice to be able to get these guys out on the water and taking him. But I don't want to do so unless we have the ability to fully crew him or fully crew our fleet. Which they pretty much did. The lookout, USS lookout, isn't at full strength. But I don't know if I want to waste too much time. I feel like I have enough. It says it's only going to take two more days. So I think we can wait the two more days and to, for everybody to be at full strength. And hopefully we'll be able to take that third rate. And that would really help out our military quite a bit. Or our naval, naval strength quite a bit. So they got one more day to their fully upgraded. What can we do here? Let's go ahead and do some more raising funds. Of course, do that right away because we don't want our finances to dip, especially while we're trying to build out our, our military strength over here. Our regiment of horse is almost at the ready. Uh, government efficiency has been reduced, which I believe has a slight effect on our finances. So that's never a good sign. Um, 
So let's go ahead. These guys are ready, so we're going to have them come across, meet up over here. It's going to take some time. They might suffer from some attrition, so what we might actually have them do is just come to Fort Rice first, actually. Let's give them horseback riding. I think that's what I usually go with. Yeah, we do horseback riding. Now we're looking over here. Not quite at full strength. I'm not sure what's, what's going to take them 35 days. I'm really not sure what we're being affected by that's going to take them so long, especially when we have the recruits in Fort Rice, and I'm not sure. It's kind of tricky and funky how those things work sometime. sometimes. These guys should be filled out by the end of the day. Alright, bit of a change. What is going on? Not enough provisions in Salem? Okay. Not enough muskets for these gentlemen, so it looks like we're still struggling with some American uh, or the US rifles. So let's get this supply wagon down to Salem, seeing as they're starting to struggle because of all the uh, new recruits over there. The cavalry still hasn't reached Fort Rice yet, nor are they at full strength yet, which is kind of annoying. Oh, wait, is this that stupid glitch again? Yeah, it's this it's the stupid glitch. I'm really annoyed and of course I forgot to go back to doing Minuteman skills, which is even more annoying. And of course we are losing funds again. We're starting to get dangerously close. Alright, let's go ahead and get these two units out. I'll have them go ahead and garrison Fort Saratoga for now. And these guys are, of course, struggling for muskets. Let me guess, U.S. muskets. Yeah, we're still struggling with U.S. muskets. Because I believe, if I remember, well, we're still producing 39 a day. Let's uh, actually take the short brown besses down and add that to that. We'll make it 52 a day. Really start cranking out those weapons. And what, like I said, what we're probably going to have to do here, take another look at our goods. And we'll come down. Let's just make a dramatic bit of sellage right now. That was horribly phrased. Probably sell quite a bit of this since we're not really building any buildings at the moment. We can sell the copper. I actually want to buy that iron because we're producing so many muskets right now. Alright. Let's see if our ships are ready to go. Not quite. They still need a day, I guess. And then... I don't know. Either the British left with that third raid, or... We just don't know the current capacity. They might have added new ships, and we just don't know what they are yet. Uh... Faced with a sh this is a new one for me. Faced with a shortage of manpower and the pressing need for additional troops, the Continental Congress makes the controversial decision to allow slaved enslaved individuals to enlist in the Continental Army. Enslaved individuals who choose to enlist are promised freedom for their service and are integrated into existing regiments. Um. Okay, so this results in sabotage. Oh. Okay, enslaved individuals as soldiers, enlisting enslaved individuals as soldiers will provide the Continental Army with a larger pool of potential recruits. Enlisting enslaved individuals as soldiers will exacerbate additions, existing social and racial tensions within society. So is that, okay, so I, I'm assuming with this, you, there's a a, a slight bit of unrest that would happen. It's it's not really doing a good job. It's not telling me what actually it means by sabotage. I guess maybe it just means 
the British have higher chances of their sabotaging efforts being successful, whereas this has no effect. Has been basically just is saying we won't accept the enslaved individuals is what I'm getting at, and it's not going to have any effect, whereas this one's going to have some sort of effect on us. But it doesn't really say what. So, I really don't know what to do, because I don't know exactly what it means by sabotage. Is something just going to happen? What? Let's, let's just do it. We could always... I mean, we're not really hurting for recruits right now, but that's the issue. Um, you know, I'm not going to take the risk of having any sort of sabotage happen to me right now, so I'll just take this option because it doesn't seem like there's going to be any negative effects. I really wish it would tell me what the positives and the pros and cons are of this current option. This is a weird one, and I've never seen it yet. Interesting. But I'm going to just choose this one because it, like I said, doesn't seem to have any effect pro or con against us. Okay, these guys are ready to go, so let's leave port. We're gonna... I was watching some videos about how to keep your ship safe. Oh wow, there's a five-ship fleet. They have 188 guns against our 188 guns. I think I'm actually going to put them in port and wait for a better time to sail out. I don't like those odds. That means these guys are going to be bigger ships. We're completely matched for guns, but it seems like they're going to have bigger ships, and it's going to be very difficult to take ships like that, especially with them all grouped into one big mass like that. I just don't like those odds all that much. Call me a wimp. And that may be, but yeah, I, those are odds I just don't like at the moment. Alright, so they made it over here. Let's go ahead. I think they have enough capacity. Really, really, they have enough capacity everywhere around. I'm not sure why these guys, or is it, again, yeah, it's that weird bug where it's saying I only have 434 men. But... Clearly, it's saying I have 150, 150, 100, and 100 of 100. I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know whether I'm missing troops there or I'm not. I don't know whether to trust this number here or the number that says, like, because even this unit here, if I go into, yes, it's saying I should have fully strength, but over here it's saying I'm not. Not really sure. Maybe somebody can explain that to me. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get them up to Fort Ticonderoga, though. Probably actually move one of these units up there. And actually, these guys should be good to go. So let's have them move to Fort Rice. Rest there. And then have them move forward to some of these other forts and start garrisoning them, and then we'll be ready to make our push north. Might actually send one of these units down. Not enough. Oh, we're out of money. Dang it, I hate when that happens. Okay, so what do we do? Resources. We can't just keep selling resources. We need a donation or something. We actually have... We're not doing any fighting right now. We have a ton of ammunition, so maybe we sell off... A bunch of that ammo for now. Don't need any textiles. We could sell off those two wagons, but we might just want to hold on to them for now. Alright, well that keep us going for a few more days. Hopefully that didn't really affect us too much. Oh, we got 140 Charlevilles. That might be something we also want to look at. Is some of these regiments that are now building up. Making sure we have good weapons everywhere around. So we can give them Charlevilles. 
Yeah, I'll have U.S. muskets. These guys all have civilian muskets. But we only have enough for equipping one unit right now. But we'll slowly build up our U.S. muskets and get all these guys equipped with them. Yeah, some of these units, we're just not going to have time to get up there in, in strength. We're slowly getting some these guys back up to full strength as well. These guys are going to take a while, it looks like. Not enough money, but yeah, we sh should have solved that issue for now. I guess it helps if we're actually playing the game here. Let's take a look at our sea region. It looks like we are back to one ship, and it's only 12 guns. So what I might do... How are these guys... Did these guys really get damaged just by going out for a little bit? I guess because it's the winter. But there's only one ship in this region, and it's only a 12 gun. So what we could do is we can very... Okay, now all of a sudden it's just a lot more. Okay, so we have a third-rate Arctic class ship of the line and a cutter here. Which weren't there a minute ago. But you know what? We will take this battle. Because I think we are going to be able to do this. I think we should be able to take this third rate. Alright, so I wasn't able to do much at all when it came to trying to capture that ship. I just cannot seem to get a third rate. I think we really need to try and aim for a fourth rate first. Because, uh, yeah, I just can't seem to get it down. I know there's plenty of people who are probably saying you're just terrible at it, and I probably am. But yeah, I tried so hard. We did end up engaging another fleet where we sank a, a, a couple of uh, cutters and whatnot. So actually, my reputation is actually in a pretty good spot at the moment because of it. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to refocus. But just for right now, we're going to focus on the land. Uh, we actually need provisions. Let's see how... Let's get this... This guy down to Fort Saratoga. Give them provisions. Uh, seeing as they seem to be struggling. I'll be glad when the winter is over. That's for sure. Um, did we ever... Where did these guys... Ha I'm not sure what happened with these guys. I told them to go to Fort Rice. But I'm not sure what ever happened. It looks like they've just been standing outside for for days on end. Let's actually have them rejoin Salem for now. And try and build back up some strength. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, we have no money. That's not good. So again, we are just really balancing the books in this episode. And we do have some copper. Let's go ahead and sell all that off. Um, come down to 50 again. With that, come down to 20 wood. We're coming down to 10 on the coal and saltpeter. Probably what I should have done, and we are just cranking out ammunition like crazy. So, yeah, we're in a pretty good spot now for finances. That should last us a few days. Hopefully. Alright, so look, get these guys back at the full strength. Probably take another day and then we'll get them marching to Fort Rice. Pra practically at full strength, right? Ah, it's that glitch again. Okay, so these guys are good to go. Get them moving. I'm not sure what happened last time. Alright, so these men of Saratoga look pretty good. Their provisions over here in Ticonderoga are going down. So let's go ahead and make the trip. Actually, Fort Frederick seems to be the ones that we're struggling with the most. But we're almost out of provisions as well, just all around. Hubbardton, we're actually not doing too bad, and...
Where are all our supply? So this supply wagon's over here. We might need want to send it west at this point. Sabotage, Hartford, and Albany. See, these guys are passing Fort Stephens right now. Let's go ahead and bring my general down. I hate not seeing my troops move. It's so annoying. And even after having 10,000 just then, we are already down to 1,000. It's insane. We are probably going to need to make this march here soon. And start heading north. We need the money, so who, no matter who it is, we're going to go ahead and take it. Alright, so French and Creeks are going up. Alright, so they made it to Fort Rice. Now Fort Ticonderoga looks like the yeah. So we're just spreading around these supply wagons right now. There seems to be pretty good over there, so yeah. I want these guys rest up for another day. And then I think what we'll do is start marching everybody forward and get ready for an assault. Once we get these troops at Fort Rice over. Not enough. Ah, we're struggling for money again. Let's go ahead and refill copper. Let's get that going. We don't have the refill funds at the moment. Uh, what do we want to do for intelligence network? Um, probably covert actions. Because I really don't like the British being able to sabotage me as well as they do. So we'll definitely work on covert actions. And now we have to come to the books again and try and balance the books. This is getting really annoying. What we can do to help balance the books though. Let's go through our army. Make sure that these guys have... We could probably sell some of our... civilian muskets because by the looks of it oh, that's annoying yeah we got a pretty good stockpile of US muskets at the moment not sure why we can't apply that what's going on okay that's weird Why can't we apply? That's really weird. What's going on? Am I missing something? Why is it not letting me apply? It's because I have no money? Can I not do it if I don't have any money? That might be it. Let me just sell all these civilian muskets. Just so we we have the money. Okay, so yeah, it must have been because I didn't have any money, even though it doesn't cost money to give these guys muskets. All right, so we can do that, giving a, out a lot of muskets. So, we should be able to sell, we could sell some of these short brown besses as well. Let's go down to 80. That way we always have enough in, on store. Let's keep 150 just in case we need to give out a few of these. Let's go ahead and just sell the Charleville's. And, well, we don't have any Spanish 55's. We'll sell these Charleville's as well, just to get some extra money. Alright, so that should keep us going for a little bit longer. And we'll have them rest the day.
Well, we got some U.S. muskets, so that's good enough to equip another unit, I believe. When you add in what we should have produced. Just enough, it looks like. Alright, so we'll get these guys moving out. Uh, Fort Saratoga probably has the most. Uh, storage capacity. We'll let them rest there and then we'll start moving everybody forward. Again, I just hate not seeing. We might as well do refill iron as well. You know what? We might as well suspend the reputation. Get them back going on hunters. Let's see. Let's sell all these furs because, again, we're already catching up on needing to sell things again. That should last us a few more days. We haven't got any sort of donations or anything like that in a while. Alright, let them rest up. For the day. I won't let them rest up fully. Because, oh wow. Dang, we took a hit there. Oh, that is annoying. I really regret not... I had to sink that one six rate that I came across. I really regret that. I should have taken it. I just realized probably what, why I'm bleeding so much money. I'm pretty sure my fleet is actually where I'm bleeding all the money from. So yeah, if we come down here and we take a look at my fleet... Yeah, this is where we're bleeding the money from. Trying to rearm this fleet. Um, so we're just going to do gunners because some of these ships we're probably not going to be boarding with. It's really just the ones that carry the most men, which are like the Havana. At the moment, that's my only boarding ship, at least for bigger vessels. Alright, we'll wait the day and then we'll start moving all our forces forward. We need the money, so no matter who it goes for. Okay, the Battle of Moores Creek Bridge has been done. It's one of the first southern bits of uh, independence that you see being fought. And we'll have them meet up with these guys at Fort Frederick. Might as well get the supply wagon out. He doesn't have too many provisions left, but we might as well move him with the army, at least for the ammunition. Get these guys all marching forward. We'll go ahead and form these guys into a immediately into a brigade down here. We have basically everybody but the Cavalry and the supplies form a brigade down here. What are you guys doing? It's really annoying how long it takes for these guys to all get together and form a brigade. Get Arnold out on a scouting mission. These guys over here at Hubberton, not enough muskets. 
Oh, these guys don't even have a uh, skirmisher unit anymore. Spanish 55. Oh, so we sold the Spanish 55s. Oh, well, we'll give them U.S. muskets. But yeah, these guys over here. We'll form up. And again, just we probably won't attack with them, but what we'll do is we'll get them to sort of threaten Burlington so they don't send any more our way for the ones that are going to be moving up the left here. Just get Batty going into them. Okay, we have some tensions going away. Cavalry is actually getting pretty well manhandled. Lose 12 hearses, we'll get two furs. I think we're going to need that with our current money situation. Need to take those supplies. Arnold, what are you doing? Go! Not sure what's going on with Arnold. He's just stopped right there. This is insane. My general is caught. Well, that helps. We get 600 pound best, four or 16 four pound gallopers, and 100 ammunition. Can Arnold, get by now. What is going on? Thank you. I'm not sure what that was about. But it was really freaking annoying. Alright, so this is how we're going to end the episode, is with the Battle of Fort St. John's. So let's go ahead and play this battle. This should be a very quick battle, I would assume. Uh, we outnumber them by a lot. I can't imagine they're actually going to hold their positions, but who knows. It is a level 2 fort, so they have that going for them. We have quite a bit of skirmishers that I think I'm going to send around this way. As well as we have my cavalry that I'm going to send up here for now. I'm going to get them sort of behind the fort. Got two more guns actually that we can move up as well. So yeah, three more guns that we can move up as well.
let's get these guys fast forwarding. Get our cavalry all the way up in the rear. Looks like they're very light in the rear, so that's probably where we're gonna stick our skirmishers. Oh, and actually, we uh have just one. <laughs> all right. So what we'll do. We really want to try and nail as many of the guns as we can. So we're going to charge in after most of these guns. And of course we're going to use the cavalry as well. Tell, I think that might be everybody except for our cavalry who will probably use to. Ah, we're getting some performance issues all of a sudden. So we actually were able to sort of catch the all the artillery as they were trying to leave this area of the fort. Oh, don't be shooting. Cavalry go. So we lost 83 men to 251 of theirs. They were they lost. Pretty sure they lost all their guns. It says they only lost 12, but I'm pretty sure I was able to get them all before they were able to escape. So that's going to help out significantly in the future, I believe, especially when it comes to the Battle of Fort Saint Chambly. Fortunately, no surrenders. Send them back to Fort Frederick. Everybody else is massing in Burlington. Let's get these guys back to Hubberton. What have we got? An artillery chief. Oh, the six pounders are done. Let's go ahead and start make, doing the 12 pounders, and then we might even actually start. Let's go ahead and repl do that right away. Same with the. Actually, no, we won't do the copper immediately. Oh, that's annoying that they dropped it in the water. Can we sneak in there and capture that with our cavalry? Who has a lot of supplies right now? I don't know if I want to send them all. Let's go ahead and send the supply wagon down to F Fort Montgomery to get the provisions from that.
Oh, get out of there. Ah, that's annoying. Alright, well, we got 14 charm, we got 5 prestige. Oh, six more 12 pound field guns, and what are these brown besses? That's gonna be good. That's annoying that. Alright, and we have enough here. So they're really amassing at Burlington. And here we go with this again. So weird. Our generals are really struggling for some reason. And we'll get them finishing up Minuteman skills. Only six more days. I wonder if we just... Yeah, let's... Why not? Let's just do that. Alright, so they're back in Hoverton. Bunkering back down. send one unit just so they don't get all cute the British and try and send units down to take again I will right, we'll get them working on skir him working on skirmishers now and then probably grenadiers and we also last thing we need to do for this episode is we need to make sure we have good ammo or a uh, god money situation because we're about to run out so that should be enough right there we'll go ahead and sell the furs we'll keep the textiles because i forgot that they are rebuilding our fleet down there hopefully they'll be done here shortly because it has been a money drag i think that's every day that's the cost it is maybe not maybe that's just total cost but it's either way it's been a money drag let's make sure this guy's priority number one and yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, sorry, this was mostly just a managing episode. We were able to take Fort St. John's, which was nice. Uh, and it should help us out going forward, especially seeing as we actually have quite a bit of recruits up here uh, willing to join the cause, it looks like. We don't really have any provisions, so... Um... Oh, great. Wait, what? We've lost Fort Montgomery. Oh, no. Oh no, that is not good. We may have to go deal with that, but we may have to pull units from uh, maybe Fort Stevens and Salem and Boston to go take care of that. Uh, but that will be for the next episode. That's a great thing to happen right at the end of this episode. That's annoying as heck. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope, hope you... Uh, But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you uh, for joining me and putting up with all my rambling. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a good day. And as always, well, bye.